All right, here we go. Dark Side Exploration Scanning Training Video Take 2. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you my scanning technique, which is fast and darn near bulletproof. So let's get some probes in space. This is a seven probe system, so to do this properly will require Astrometrics 4. You can probably do it okay with Astrometrics 3 as a six probe system, but I really like having the center probe, so seven probes really makes sense. There we go, seven probes out. Be sure to always cloak up when you're scanning. Can't say enough how important it is to cloak up when you're scanning. All right, let's get our scanner open and get on the map. All we start off for a scan as a 32 AU scan. We want to get as many signatures in the first scan as possible. I like to put my scan probes on the sun for the first scan. So we'll grab them. Now remember if you hold them down, hold down the shift key, it will move all of your scan probes as a group. And we'll put them all right on the sun. Close enough. And now we're going to spread them out. It's their 32 AU probes, but I'm going to make a 64 AU circle. I'm only going to go in two dimensions right now because it's early yet and most solar systems are laid out flat on an ecliptical. So we're just going to spread out the four to make a two dimensional little flat pancake like that. We got three still in the center and let's give her a scan and get some results up here. Let's get rid of these unimportant scan results for the moment and get right down to the nitty gritty of finding ourselves something fun like this YMH. I'm just picking it because it's got the lowest scan signature. Normally I'd go for the highest scan signature first, but I think I want a little bit of a challenge. And there it is. I think it's the lowest scan signature because it's far away from any single probe. Now. The meat of my system here is that we're going to take our signature that we want to look for and we're going to put our center probe right dead on top of it. At least on top of where our, scans, our scanner thinks it is. That, that spot is probably a little incorrect, but we're going to narrow it down real fast. Now then, now that we're scanning these, here let's, um, first things, I'm going to reduce the scan range by two. There we go. And I'm going to raise my top and bottom probes, so I'm scanning in three dimensions now. And pull my outside ones in so that everything overlaps properly. Pretty much every space within the center should be being scanned by at least two probes, if not more. And this is the design that we use. We want to try to get everything crisscrossing right in the center. All four probes around the outside and the two probes on the top. As long as they meet right there in the center and every probe hits that little center area a bunch of times, we'll be all set. So let's give her a, another analysis here. And I got somebody logging on. Look at that. And FWC, I forget which one we were looking for, but let's go for FWC here. That uh, might have been YMQ. Yeah, it was probably YMQ. Look at it way out there on the edge. All right, well, we're going to go into it. Again, we're going to take our center, and we're going to move it to it. And also remember to move it on the vertical axis, because you want to get that as close as possible. And now we're going to shrink down our probes and we're going to go again two full scan resolutions. One, two, hold down the shift key, it does all of them. And then move the top and bottom down again and make the exact same pattern all over again. Remember when you do something the same way every time, you get good at it. There we 
we go, our nice little pretty pattern. And we're going to hit scan and look for that YMQ signature again. And here we go, 8%. That's not quite it. Now, we got the ball. I like the ball, actually. So what I'm going to do is, just like the dot, I'm going to take and grab this handle right here and pull it right into the center. And if it's small enough, let's see, can I go a whole... No, I don't think we should. I think I should leave it back up at that scan resolution and just hit scan one more time and let it get a better signal. We hit the ball because only one probe got it. When we get it more centered and more than one probe catches it, it'll bring it to a couple dots or a dot. And there we go, 14% and we got ourselves a dot. Let's center up on that bad boy. Yeah, I know, sometimes I pick nits, but okay, there we go, and now we're going to go down two full scan resolutions. Scan it a half an AU now, and we will pick it up because we have all these top and bottom and left and right scans, scanners. our perfect pattern and I see Finn Bud is rudely interrupting my scan lesson but he's got good news so I'll forgive him this time and oh look at that okay it's in our bottom one there again we have a circle and that's why we use the top and bottom probes and I think I can actually go down a hole right no, not quite. I don't want to. We're going to put it right back there and do one more scan. Got it down to two. That's not bad. Now we'll center up on it. Turn this bad boy into a bookmark. May seem like moving all these probes around is slower, but when you can jump it down two scan resolutions at a time, it makes it a lot faster. And I don't always have to go down to 0.25 AU. Uh, sometimes I can catch it at a half an AU, or even one, I've caught them at 1 AU before. And we got a bookmark. Thank you for watching Dark Side Exploration's scanning training video, and I hope it serves you well.